So our next case is that of a six-year-old mixed breed dog that swallowed multiple rare earth magnets, these very strong little magnets, and they presented with vomiting anorexia. On physical exam, uh, they noted a very painful abdomen, tense abdomen, and here we can see our abdominal radiographs, including these rare earth magnets, all stacked together because you know they're going to find each other once they get in there. Um, anatomic positioning of these is difficult. Some of these look like they're within the stomach. Uh, these, some of these look like they're within the pylorus, but not completely. Um, and there was some equivocal evidence of uh, free air. Uh, there's some gas bubbles up here dorsally, as well as laterally on the right. Uh, so what they actually did was that horizontal beam projection. In this case, they did the left lateral, which puts the stomach up top, which isn't ideal. It's better to do the other lateral so that the stomach's not in our way of telling free air. But you can see next to the gas-filled stomach here, we've got the, these gas bubbles. And this is free air consistent with gastrointestinal perforation. And at surgery, they found seven of these rare earth magnets, and there were multiple uh, regions of perforation of the stomach and small intestine, as we can see here. These magnets are very strong. Any tissue between them uh, that's going to exert a lot of pressure, uh, you're going to get necrosis. And you can see, uh, like the small intestinal segment here, you've got a large necrotic ulceration and erythema surrounding uh, this lesion. So these rare earth magnets, uh, they're, you know, these guys are really, really small, but they're really, really powerful. Uh, each one of these small magnets, less than the size of a penny, can lift about eight pounds. Uh, the surface field, this is 0.43 Tesla, probably doesn't mean a lot, but our MRI scanners are one and a half Tesla. So one of these magnets is a third of the strength or can exert at least that much strength and lift almost 10 pounds. So, you know, the, the takeaways on this, obviously the visualization of, of an obstructive pattern is probably not as important as seeing that free air. That horizontal beam view can be very helpful if you're on the fence about whether you're seeing free air. And that not all ingested material, you know, here in emergency proof care setting, we get a lot of dogs eating things, but not everything acts the same. Certainly these crazy strong magnets are, you know, are an exception. Anything containing zinc, you know, causing uh, anemia and a toxicity, zinc toxicity, very important. Corn cobs obviously seem very well made to obstruct dogs. Uh, so not all this material acts the same. And then the question I had is like, why do people need these crazy strong magnets? But I'm sure there's a reason.